Welcome to the only YouTube channel where your voice truly matters. Are you considering the Apple Watch Series 3? Today we sit down with two users, Tabitha and Shania. Do they regret buying the watch? You'll have to watch the video to find out. And always share your voice in the comments down below. Introduce yourself. <laughs> really? Absolutely. Hi. I'm Tabitha, I own an Apple Watch Free Series, Nike, so that's why I'm here today to talk about my watch. I'm Shania, I own the Rose Gold 3 Series Apple Watch. Miss Tabitha, what made you pick this watch? Uh, my job, to be honest. Um, I work with cars and my girlfriend likes to call me a lot, so I can't just go and dirty my phone all the time, so I got a watch. So every time she calls me, all I gotta do is click and then talk to it. like. Like I'm looking crazy talking to my watch, my wrist. <laughs> and I just got mine because she got hers. Well, the <laughs> <laughs> so it was like if you get it, I have to have it. And also, but it it it, it helps because I can also use it while I'm at work. Like if she texts me or if my mom or someone texts me, I can just see it on my phone and then I know if I need to go make a phone call or not. That way, I know if it's actually worth. You know, when we bought the watches. They were actually buy one get one half off. So it was like it made sense to do it because. She really wanted it and I was just getting it because she was getting it. So it was like, all right, I don't mind that deal going on. And plus, we also added it to our cell phone okay. plan. So each watch has its own number. If you need to just call my watch, it actually has its own cell phone number. And my cell phone has its own. But if you call my cell phone, it'll automatically link. Okay. And I'll be able to get my texts, my FaceTime calls, and my own and it's still when your phone dies it still works yeah. okay my phone was dead yesterday but I was still calling people and texting people through my watch Tabitha how much was the watch uh, my $400 about $430 okay but with the sale probably like six six fifty all together I think about because it was buy one get, get one, one half, half. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah here's a cool question well I think it was a cool question um do you regret the watch no, this is my favorite thing in the world. I don't leave my house without it. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only thing is, they um die quickly if you mm. use it a lot, but it'll take you about a day to die, not a couple That's hours. Enough. So it'll die in a day if you use it all day, but if not, it can go about a day and a half, and it charges quickly too. That's good. Yeah. That's good. How long would it take to to fully charge? No longer than like 40 minutes. Oh, and it, it has a flashlight. You can connect it to Wi-Fi. It has a calculator. I lose my phone. My phone's here. I press this. And I'll find my phone. Uh, I think everybody just needs it for that reason, as a matter of fact. <laughs> That's my favorite reason. I can never find my phone, so I always ping and I see it. So I have the regular Series 1, Series 2, and Series 3. We got the Series 3. I didn't even know there was a different one until mm -hmm. I got into the store. But the Series 3 is um, cellular and waterproof. It tells me my heart rate. I can set timers. If Series 4 came out, would you go for it? Yeah, I would go for it. If it had, like, if it was more advanced, like, if it was just one or two things that were, like, I didn't need, then probably not, because I really like this one as it is. But if the next one comes out and it's a better version, it's more updated and advanced, sure, why not? Weather, GPS, I check stocks. Waterproof, like she mentioned. Wow. Like, it locks the whole thing. So even if you're underwater, like, it won't turn, it won't switch back out of waterproof mode, because you have to lock it until waterproof won't get damaged, no water will get into it or anything like that and then when you're done you have to like do this whole process to like get it out. It allows you to like move this part like up and down and until it goes, gets to where it needs and then it just locks itself out. Okay. Oh I can open the camera here. Okay. I'll press like the camera thing and then I'll go to my phone and it'll open my camera thing. Bands. They're easy to change and you can basically get anything you want. You just gotta push this and it'll slide out. I got two different color bands on because I wanted the black one, but I didn't really want all black, so my, this is my best friend's band, and this is my band. Regular Apple Watch, and then you got the Nike Apple Watch. I go to the gym a lot, so I got the Nike Apple Watch, and when I run, it tells me how long I've been running, how fast I've been running, my heart rate and everything. I got a screen protector on it. Everybody needs a screen protector, even for your watch nowadays. <laughs> you may know the answer to this, ladies, but I'd rather hear it from you. Your voice is what matters. Would you recommend the watch to somebody? For, I'm an Android user, right? Mm -hmm. But would you recommend the watch to me? Yes. Okay. Yes, I can't go wrong with it. I think the Apple Watch is better than the Samsung Watch. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gents, 
This has been uh, our first, I would love to say live, but by the time this gets out, it's going to be edited. So somewhat live user review of the Apple Series 3 watch. And I'm going to just... I'm going to let the ladies take it away. Uh, I'm Tab Through a Butter and my voice matters. And I'm Shania and my voice matters. And by the way, Tabby has her own YouTube channel, which will <laughs> also link. And you should check her out. And sometimes if I want, I could just, it shows me a map and I can see if I ran from Yonkers to like the Bronx. Wow, you do that? That's, that's No, that's I don't. Scary. I'd be in the gym on okay. the treadmill. <laughs>